In a significant legal development, a judge ruled on Wednesday that more than $500,000 in royalties belonging to R. Kelly and held by Universal Music Group, UMG, must be relinquished to Brooklyn federal prosecutors. The decision aims to aid in compensating the victims of the singer's criminal activities. This ruling arrives two years following R. Kelly's conviction on charges of sex trafficking and racketeering, and one year after he was sentenced to a 30-year prison term by Judge and Donnelly. Judge Donnelly issued a writ of garnishment, which compels UMG to transfer $520,549 from the singer's publishing royalties to be allocated towards restitution and criminal fines. Originally, Prosecutors had pursued the seizure of royalties from both UMG and Kelly's former label, Sony Music Entertainment. However, as UMG's account contained enough funds to cover the entire penalty, with a disclosed amount of $567,444, prosecutors decided to withdraw their request to access Sony's account. Nevertheless, this doesn't imply that Sony will retain Kelly's funds without obligation. The label, which previously held over $1.5 million in Kelly's royalties as of 2020, faces other claims demanding access to these funds. These claims involve a victim of abuse who secured a $4 million civil judgment and a Chicago landlord owed $3.5 million. Federal prosecutors in Chicago, victorious in obtaining a separate conviction against Kelly for child pornography charges, may also pursue the collection of funds from Sony or the remaining balance within UMG's account. Kelly owes more than $42,000 in fines and restitution in connection with that case. While a spokesperson for UMG declined to comment, there was no response from a spokesperson for Sony to requests for comments. In a statement given to Billboard, Jennifer Bonjean, Kelly's attorney who is currently appealing his convictions, assured that the royalty money will ultimately be returned to her client. She stated, We maintain that Mr. Kelly's convictions and the restitution orders were erroneous and the Second Circuit will have the final word on it. I can promise that when the Second Circuit reverses Mr. Kelly's convictions, we will seek the return of every cent that has been wrongfully taken from him. Following decades of allegations involving sexual misconduct, R. Kelly faced a 2021 conviction in New York on federal charges of racketeering and sex trafficking. These charges related to accusations of orchestrating a prolonged scheme to exploit and abuse women and underage girls. Last summer, he was handed a 30-year prison sentence. In September 2022, he received additional convictions in Chicago on federal charges of child pornography and enticing minors for sexual purposes. While he was sentenced to 20 years on these convictions, the majority of the term will run concurrently with the previous 30-year sentence, which he is serving.